Oh my God, I'm so excited about this just to like, I'm walking down the center of the bus right now and I don't have to look really where I'm going to my, I'm gonna fall. So if you've watched any of our other videos, you know how messy our bus gets sometimes and how tight it gets in this space because we have literally everything we use on the bus staying in the bus. Like it's our storage unit and our bus, so. Huh? We're not blessed with the shop. Yeah, we're not blessed with the workshop, no joke. Mm -hmm. Um, so what we did was we um, cleared everybody out of one bedroom in the house and put the mattress on the floor in the playroom because it's a short-term solution anyway um, and used an extra bedroom <clears throat> to store all of our bus stuff not the tools and stuff but like the things that we know we will eventually need but not yet right like our sink our cabinet we just got uh, things like that. So, so we have, I was saving that for when we were inside. Uh. Uh. So <laughs> we have the back all organized now and beautiful. Thanks to Shane. Um, so it'll just be easy to just like grab stuff and go. Um, it, I feel like we spend half the time, like literally we'll look back at time last videos and we're like, we just wandered around for like two minutes of that video. What was happening? Oh, we couldn't find a drill bit or something. So this will be nicer. I feel like we'll be able to move a lot quicker with the things that we need to do. We'll be able to grab, you know, we have all the paints in one section, all the he adhesives and drill bits and blah, blah, whatever. So um, I don't know about anybody else out there doing a uh, bus conversion, but oh my God, I'm so excited about this just to like, I'm walking down the center of the bus right now and I don't have to look really where I'm going to my, I'm going to fall <laughs> because the walkway is clear. So anyway, um, I'm a nerd for organization, so this is really exciting. Small things. So we still have all the wood on here because we're actively using it and we're gonna frame the ceiling this evening. But um, yeah, this is the cleanest and clearest our bus has been. It'll be nice to actually get some like good shots of the work we've actually done because it's not blocked by a sink and a big old cabinet and all that stuff, so. Yay. Small things, big way. Okay, so this is the room we turned into our bus storage. It also has like stuff that we need to sort through and decide what can fit on the bus, what we care to have fit on the bus, and also has like our clothes and laundry and stuff. So multi-purpose room now. So here's all our stuff for on the bus. Our $10 cabinet we got. And yes, yes, those are solar panels you see in the background. We went to Habitat for Humanity, uh, or sorry, the Habitat Restore, um, close to our house because we hadn't been there and we thought, what do they have? You know, let's just go check it out. Like we were not planning on buying anything. We just wanted to see what they had. And we saw a sign on one of the tables that said, um, solar panels, $120 each. Yeah. Um, we were kind of thinking they were going to be small solar panels or not a lot of wattage. Uh, but we got lucky and those are the Q cells. Q cells. Yep. And 315 watts each. Um, we got six of them for a hundred dollars each. Yeah. Six hundred dollars. So, yeah. So six hundred total. Shane negotiated with them a tiny bit. It was supposed to be a little more, but they're even like the pretty black ones that are all all black and beautiful and sleek and yeah. But what a deal! Huge, huge shout out to my amazing older brother who just happened to be in town and went with us right before he went to the airport. And I was like, damn it, we'd totally get these, but we just don't have that much money right now accessible. And he's like, oh, I'll get them for you. Um, so, bam, there we go. Thanks, Will. Thanks, Bye, Will. Everybody.